Hi everyone, this is Pastor Noel again. Thank you so much for joining me as I provide you a word of encouragement. Today is September 18, Friday. So I want to begin with this statement. Uh, be yourself. Okay, Be yourself. Everyone is born equal but different. Okay, So in order for you to stand out, to shine in the crowd, you need to be yourself. Don't copy others. Be yourself. Be what God has made you to be and not to, uh, to be someone else that you idolize. By being yourself, you, you embark in this journey of, of investing in yourself, in improving yourself, in excelling in yourself, and you begin to see the fruits. You see, this type of journey is... is uh, brings contentment it, it gives you joy and it, it, it preserves you in every way so and again this type of attitude also deflects the temptation of you having to compare yourself with people or uh, or seeking the approval of other people except God amen so when we walk only in the path made by other people we we will not make new discoveries because the people that we're following they're the ones who's discovering new things we need to discover new things by being ourselves. you know reaching our highest potential is hampered when we try to be like someone else why because we give up three-fourths of our time being someone else rather than putting all our concentration, all our efforts in being what God has made us to be. God has made us unique. Um, Psalms 139 verse 13 to 14 says this, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Amen. An English writer and poet once said this, Almost every man wastes part of his life in attempts to display the qualities he does not possess. Amen. And that's true. God made us different. We are different in our character, in our personality, our qualities, our abilities, our skills, our purpose in life. Romans 12 verse 6 says this, God has given each of us the ability to do things in certain well, uh, excuse me, ability to do certain things well, okay? So because of our uniqueness, our unique abilities, our skills, and our purpose, we are, to, we are able to do things uh, particularly well, different from other people. And like a small piece of this huge puzzle, we are created to fit in that space of life that God has intended for us. Amen? Hallelujah. So as long as we are trying to be uh, like someone else, we will never be content. We will never be content. Okay? Don't copy anyone else. Uh, someone said this, Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there's no path and leave a trail. By being yourself, you will open up a trail for others as well. Amen? Romans 12 verse 2 says this, Don't let the world around you squeeze you into its own mold, but let God remake you so that your whole attitude of mind is changed. Amen? So there's only uh, one person that we should imitate, and that's Jesus Christ. Because in the very beginning, God made us in His image. And if Jesus lives in us, Jesus can now begin to mold us into God's image, but in a very unique way. Okay? It, it, would, it, would, um, it, it, it would represent the uniqueness and the creativity of God. So simply, when Jesus lives in our lives, when Jesus is in our hearts, we begin to really appreciate and enjoy who we are. 
Amen. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Father, you have established your creativity in all creation, O oh God. Hallelujah. And even with us, Lord, that you have made us unique in, in every way, Lord God, so that we can fulfill our role in this world, in your creation. Help us, Lord God, to look towards you, to know your purpose in our lives, and to appreciate, Lord God, everything that you've bestowed in our lives even our uniqueness our abilities and our and our possessions lord god so that we can truly live life abundantly through you again thank you lord we love you in jesus name amen hallelujah praise god i hope you're blessed i'll see you again next week amen